Okay, what's going on, YouTube? Um, just something that was on my mind, a quick thought that uh, came past my mind or whatever, and I was just sitting here thinking about, uh, I was thinking about all the, um, all of the older people within my age range and, um, between my age range and the mid 40s. So between 30, between 30 and 45, right? So a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, older people, including myself, once upon a time, um, now when we were younger, our our elders at that time always had something negative to say about the music that we were listening to and they always said uh this generation talking about us doesn't have good music not like our generation right or in this particular case you know our generation didn't have the rap music that that their generation had. Um, but what 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 they were comparing to? They were comparing our they were comparing our Tupac, our Biggie, our Bone Thugs, our um, you know our Houston rap. Our um our early Atlanta rap, they were comparing that to uh Cool Mo D and Grandmaster Flash and you know and uh Curtis Blow and in that particular aspect they were comparing um, rugged, rugged hip hop, or um, hardcore hip hop. They were comparing that to the hip hop that they grew up with, more of a party, innocent storytelling type. Now us who are in our 30s and our early 40s we're doing the exact same thing that our elders did to us we're doing that to our youth without listening to an entire album of the the new artists that our children um, are listening to so when I say this, I'm talking about Lil Yachty, Lil Bo, <laughs> uh, Kodak Black, 22 Savage, 21, 21 Savage, who the fuck's 22 Savage? Um, was it Kevin Gates, uh, Future, um, and and the list and the list can go on and on. And when we say these kids today don't have uh, great artists, you have to remember back in our elders' day, they had rappers like Busy B, um. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Special Ed. They had uh Rob Bass and a lot of and a lot of those guys, right? A lot of those guys are the godfathers of what our children are listening to today. Because you had those guys who were the party type, who really didn't have a message in any of the raps that they that they had did 
a lot of the a lot of the the only um, substance that they did have in their raps was the fact that they fooled around with people like a Big Daddy Kane or you know uh, and matter of fact Big Daddy Kane you can't even let him off the hook he's part of the reason you know we had people like the Snoop Dogg and uh, you know uh, what was the other Slick Rick you can't you can't sit there and say that those guys were hip hop and then turn around and say that the people that our kids are listening to are not hip hop if, if you're going to say that the people who our children are listening to are not are not hip hop, you have to you have to keep in mind that that you have that you have um, you have to keep in mind that if, if you're going to say that the people that our children are listening to are not hip hop, you have to say that those people that we listened to when we were coming up who rap about the exact same thing in their music are not hip hop as well. Um, that would consist of a of a fabulous um a DMX or um was it Mace? Uh matter of fact, all the bad boy. Um Rough Riders, all the Rough Riders. Um was uh what's the name what's the name what's the name uh uh death squad even though even though that there was some um you know some substance in it um you could even look at groups like wu-tang and you could just pluck out different members of that group where you can hear you know a lot of the a lot of the things that they rapped about in their music a lot of you know, our uh, youth are listening to rappers who are rapping about the exact same thing. Old Dirty Bastard. He said he won't pussy for free. Is that hip-hop or not? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, um... But a lot of our, um... A lot, a lot of... A lot of us in my age range between 30 and 45 we need to understand that these children are going to listen to whatever the hell they want to listen to first and foremost second of all check your claims before you just spew them out now I listen to the entire album of 21 Savage and just listening to it I mean why why wouldn't you call that hip hop uh, I mean I don't I don't I don't like that kind of rap myself or some of the stuff is just catchy, but then again, you have to realize that these that these um that these uh, styles of rap that we're saying is not hip hop, they have an origin somewhere. It is, it just didn't come out of nowhere where people was just talking about bullshit. You have to you have to also keep in mind that this whole rap thing, uh, the whole content, um substance you know and all of that that didn't come until busy being cool mo d it wasn't it wasn't until you know people like a cool mo d came on the scene and really just changed hip-hop a lot of people started paying attention to the rhymes that they wrote krs1 public enemy uh x clan you know, and and not just that. You have to also keep in mind that hip hop caters to different people. It's only um, the 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 difference between now and back then is that the bullshit that was put out back then rarely got radio play. 
Um, you have to keep in mind that you have people like um, um, Eric B. and Rakim, um, Eric Sermon, and um, what was the name? EPMD. Those guys who were, you know, that they controlled the radio, you know, in the late in the late eighties, you know. Um, let's not let's not let's not act like hip hop was always conscious from its inception. It was not. It was all about you know the lyrics in the earliest of hip hop always catered to the female. You know who who was the flashiest, who who had the best rhymes. You know all of that stuff played into um, into what what hip hop is. We can't define it based on what we like and what we don't like. That's something that we just have to throw out the window. We can't we can't continue to have that mindset that if I don't like it, it's not hip hop. That's not the case. I had to come to that realization because I was xing out a lot of the people that I was listening to. I I was becoming. You know, I had a contradicting, I had a contradicting mindset concerning hip hop because I was listening to certain people who were, you know, who we say is not hip hop. But then, you know, at the same time, they are. You, you see what I'm saying? Like uh, DMX. Yeah, the dude pray and this, that, and third, but DMX was talking about killing. People better suck his dick. Um, fucking the next man, girl, robbing you. You you know what I'm saying? What? How is that different from what these guys are talking about now? A lot of the bullshit, I mean... If anything, these get these guys now ain't even talking about robbing nobody. Um, they they do talk about killing. They do talk about fucking the next man, girl. Um, you know, money, drugs, and all that stuff. That's something that's been talked about since hip hop's inception. You know, uh, Crank Lucas. I mean, the guy was you know it was in a joking way, but he was telling the truth. You know. Uh, Hold on right quick. But yeah, I had to pause it. Um, you know, talk to my manager. But um there's 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 no difference in, in you know in what's what what was out then and what is out now. You know, bullshit just didn't get a lot of radio play back then. You know, um or what we consider bullshit. Um it's just a, it's just a changing of the guard now. The um the uh the consciousness has um has switched uh because of the you know the dumbing down of the masses we can't blame it all on nwa we can't do that a lot of the people think about it how many how many people are saying fuck the police right now I mean, really, just think about that. How many people are saying fuck the police right now? How many people are saying fuck the police before NWA? So you mean to tell me that we can say fuck the police without having a reference to who started the fuck the police trend? Now, as far as uh, now, I'm going off of what Wise Intelligence said. And what Wise Intelligence said was the... Um, the song, the number one song that was on the radio at the time of the Rodney King killing, was the number one song was "Fight the Power," and the number one song on the radio when um when um uh, what's his name um uh, Sean Bell had died, the number one song on the radio was "Lollipop." Now, if 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 you really want to go back to '92, and this was this was in L.A. at the same time. That fuck the police shit is is probably the main in, was the main ingredient to why they did it. Fight the power. See, this is where I'm getting to. You you have fight the power, which means fight the system. 
you had NWA on the other side that was saying, fuck the police. The police is a part of the system. Those two, those two types of music complemented each other. You had the consciousness and then you had the bullshit that came together and it sparked the uh the minds of the people to do something very revolutionary but now you know going to wise intelligence claim the number one song on the radio was lollipop when sean bell was killed but at the same time there was nothing to compliment the lollipop song now let's let's talk about that lollipop song that whole lollipop in my opinion, was talking about sucking dick. Now, if 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 you so so conscious, you can't tell me that you don't get your dick sucked. You can't you can't tell me that. You can't look at me in my face with a with a with a with straight eye contact. You cannot look at me straight in my eye and say that you don't get head. So when you listen to a song talking about licking some lollipops, why does that make you feel uncomfortable if that's something that you're doing? I'm not taking up for Lil Wayne. Yeah, he make bullshit music, in my opinion, but at the same time, he has to be respected for the 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 um the not attention, but the fan base that he does have. You know? And that's you know, that's just um that's just what it that's just what it is, man. You know, you can't get you can't get mad with, you know, because this is what the children are choosing to listen to. It's what's being pushed by the main me the mainstream media. In order for we can't we can't combat it. We just have to do our best to teach our children, you know, um, you know, what's good music and what's not. And as much as a lot of people hate Kanye West. Kanye West is really a genius when it comes to the music that he that he makes because a lot of these a lot of these uh, recording artists they have to sample certain music and that broadens their horizon and it changes their tone you know and not just that you have people like Nation of Islam who who are you know who are changing the minds of people like a Kevin Gates. You know what I'm saying? Even though that he has his um, legal issues that's going on, you know, you really can't fault him for the hood mindset. You see what I'm saying? Uh, You know, and that goes back to, you know, what I was saying in the uh, Steve Stevens video, you know, and the uh, the young man that killed his, uh, his little sister, you know, that, the system created these these uh, these mindsets, and we have to rehabilitate ourselves to our original state of, of, of consciousness. And if we do, if we aren't able to rehabilitate ourselves to our original state of consciousness, we are going to continue to do the things that we have been programmed by the system to do. So you know that's just something I wanted to touch on as far as Kevin Gates is concerned, and and the young brother Kodak Black. You know, peace to both of the gods. But, um, you know, as far as this music uh, shit is concerned, you can't you can't really just um, you can't fault the youth for what they choose to listen to. The peer pressure is a motherfucker nowadays, you know, and 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 a lot of these kids don't want to get talked about. And a lot of these kids want to fit in, you know, so they're going to listen to whatever the most popular kid is listening to, you know. A lot of kids don't really have self-identity or knowledge of self. And a lot of us don't have knowledge of self. Even those of us who sit back and talk about our own brothers and sisters don't have knowledge of self. Nobody is perfect. But a lot of our kids, you know, we have to we have to work on that as well as, uh, you know, building up knowledge of self. We have to push those Urugu books. We have to push the ISIS papers. We have to push uh, how white folks got so rich. Um, and not just that. When you look at um, these young brothers, um, 
race uh race uh Shermer. Uh the uh Shermer, I can't pronounce the boys' names or whatever. But it's two brothers, uh one of their songs is called Black Beatles. Uh these these brothers when they were being interviewed by um uh, by the Breakfast Club, these brothers were so goddamn intelligent. And there was a book that he mentioned that he read that that he was reading or in the process of reading, you know what I'm saying, that helped him, you know, uh with his finances, so to speak. This these boys was I think uh 17, 18 at the time, 16, 17. That that's motivation, you know what I'm saying, because these guys are very popular, you know, and some other little boys listening to that interview, like, man, what's the what's the name of that book? And that one book may lead to a Yurugu or how white folks got so rich, or Medunetta, or um the Egyptian philosophy. Um, you know, it you know we the 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 consciousness is there these kids just want to have fun now man you know but at the same time you know uh we you know we have to keep in mind that we can't say that what these kids are listening to is not hip-hop that's the that's the only point that i'm trying to make what these kids are listening to is hip-hop but it's just the bullshit version of hip-hop so if I'm being politically correct, you know, if you think that I'm trying to be politically correct, I am. Because when you when you tell these kids, oh, you just listen to the bullshit, you know, and, and they go they're gonna be quick to tell you that the shit that you listen to is bullshit. And they're not gonna wanna listen to it out of out of pride. You know, and you just closed a wall, you know, that that probably won't ever be knocked down. You know. Uh, so keep in mind that they have their, their Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is a lyricist, you know, um, uh, uh, what's the, what's the guy's name over there in Tennessee? Uh, damn, I forget his name. Um, but you got, um, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Wale, a lot of these guys who a lot of these kids listen to and I've listened to and you know, they're, they're actually some good people to listen to. I mean, that's not what I would choose to listen to. But, I mean, these guys have some good stuff. While I'm on the subject, please, please listen to Tunnel Vision. If you have not listened to Tunnel Vision by Kodak Black, shout out to The Truth Show for talking about for talking about Kodak Black and putting that uh, video at the very beginning because in my mind... You know, I'm viewing Kodak Black as somebody who really doesn't have a lot of talent, but the the young man is talented. The young man is very talented, and he has uh, um, an intriguing mind. You know, to 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 put together the video that was put together, whether he did it or uh, management did it or uh, uh, PR did it. Whoever whoever suggested that he still went along with it, and 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 said yeah that's that's something that I, he could have easily said no, nah. you know he could have said no nah, I want some I want some big booty bitches in my video, not one big booty bitch in that video, you know, but it is what it is man I just had to go ahead and get that out man you know um in my opinion you know the the kids they they are entitled to listen to whatever they want to listen to um you know i you know i um a lot of the stuff i have on my mp3 player man you know um you know on my phone or whatever you know uh some stuff that i just downloaded you know i, I do have some little uzi vert i do have some little yachty we have one song by Yada. The rest of that album is crap. I don't see how anybody could actually just listen to a, a whole album by that that Nathan. That, <laughs> but you know that that album was garbage. Um, I got some Twenty One Savage. Um, a lot of Kevin Gates stuff, man. And a lot of people need to stop sleeping on Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is really the the best artist 
um, that the youth are really listening to nowadays as far as lyrics and, you know, hanging with the best of the best is concerned. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, this dude, you know, he's he's the truth. But, you know. Get a get a get a kid's music a chance, man. Listen to a whole album before you make your claim. You know, because really the only person that's just super garbage is Lil Yachty. You know, a lot of these other guys, I can I can I can say, yeah, they're hip hop. You know, uh, and a lot of the stuff we can't just write off as garbage because, you know, some of these guys are saying some good stuff, man. You know, uh, but yeah, you know, again, listen to an entire album before you make your claim. You know, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, man. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, um, or whatever you know it is that you do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.